Wow, check this one out. This is epic. Stone slab found in France, thought to be Europe's oldest 3D map. Archaeologists believe 4,000 year old engravings on the Saint Belek slab resemble topographical features. And I'm going to, not only am I going to show you exactly what they mean, I'm going to geo reference this slab onto the modern map and I'm going to even find some of the barrows that is represented on this 4,000 year old map. Woohoo! So here's the map. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Here, this is the slab. Look, this is where they think it is. Here is it in the landscape. Look, the red line is a Roman road. Stone cysts, kissed. Uh, barrows, so the round thing of barrows, that's what we're going to look for. Here it is in the landscape. Uh, pres Priscilla Barrows. So this is the main area. They think there's the actual town or village or whatever, um, uh, the, the, the settlement. And here is a, a sort of a, almost like a archaeological map of what, what the surface of the ground would look like if you were just looking at the ground. But it's not the ground, it's a slab. So I'm going to geo-reference all this onto a map. I've already done it and we're going to find some of these barrows. So here's my map geo-referenced onto the landscape. These pink lines are Roman roads and this is their map. We can zoom right in on it. Look, I've geo the geo-referencing was uh, slightly off but I managed to follow these rivers on by taking that uh, one off and looking at the rivers in the landscape. Here we go, like that. So I followed the rivers on the landscape. Right, now we need to find, we take that one off, so we've now got it all. We can put it back on a satellite image, like so. And now we need to go and find one of the other maps I geo-referenced, that one. We need to make that one transparent. So properties, oh, um, this is this is my program here. I'm just sort of making it transparent. I'm going to go with um, let's bring it over a touch. You can see it. <laughs> let's go with multiply, apply. Uh, okay, so we've now got the dots over the landscape. So we can zoom right in on some of these barrows. Now, where was it? I did a few. I did one up here. So I've got this one right here. So this is a barrow in the landscape. So this what this map is doing, it's showing you where there are where there are um, settlements and barrows and um, other things in the landscape that you can't see because of, you know, ploughing and time has passed. So it's showing you that there's something in the landscape that you can no longer find. So if we zoom right in on this one, right in, so it goes almost black, and we take that off, then in this area, there should be, in theory, a barrow. Now, I did find one. Here it is, right there. You see the circle? That's a 5,000, was it 5,000 or 4,000? Well, it might be 5,000 year old barrow right there. You can just about see it. So that's, and maybe something coming off of it. Isn't that amazing? Now I found um, five other barrows, five other ones using this method. So we can zoom right out. Now over here, I didn't see a barrow, but there's got to be one there, right here. So if we put that back on, there it is, oh, slightly off. So there should be a barrow in here. So you take that off. Can we see a barrow? Mm, possibly. What's that there? Could that be a barrow? These are feeders for animals, animal feeders, like cow feeders. 
so you can actually see the bales in the farmyard there look so they come along and they drop that in and then the cows make a mess around it and they with their hooves they sort of dig a little trench people often find get confused with feeders so that could be a barrow just there and uh, where would it I did find there it is now you can't see it very well on this one but if I go over to Google Earth there we go I've got it crop mark one I've got it up look you can see that there is stuff in the landscape right there but somewhere here is got to be a barrow unfortunately <laughs> um, France hasn't got the same kind of lidar coverage like the UK has now if I, if I could get lidar I would you know finding it would be so much more simpler but this area is not going to get lidar till t until 2025 when the the coverage of uh, France is completed it takes a long time to do it so that was that one and I don't need to go back to the other map now because I've marked out a few more that this 5,000 year old map has uh, discovered Look, I can zoom in on number three can you see it can you <laughs> actually it could be something there Right, we need to change the uh, the slides. Oh, you can just about see a circly feature in there. Can you see it? See the circle? Maybe some other crop marks nearby, but there's definitely a circle in there. Right, let's zoom out on that one. Where's the other ones? And of course, this co this map covers quite a huge area. Right, so we've got another one here, look, number two. We zoom in on that one. There it is. You see the white? That's because when they built these things, they often used a lot of rocks in their construction, like like stones around the outside. And the, and the farmer's coming along with his tractor, and his tractor is hitting the rocks, and he's breaking the rocks up, and it's turning the ground a bit white, pale because of the, um, the debitage, the, the bits of rocks are making the ground slightly more paler because the rocks might be a pale color. If we look at the road surface, look how much paler the road is. That's because that's probably the natural rock with the tires of the tractor are breaking up the rock. So it's starting to almost represent that color. So that's another one right there. Completely, I found it using that ancient map just unreal and here's another one right here Let's zoom in oh can you see it I'm gonna have to change it over oh no it's I'm gonna have to find one of them that shows it there we go let's see it it's slightly paler slightly pale just there if I could take off the number, uh, I think I can. There we go. There. See how it's just slightly paler right there? That is an ancient barrow, a Bronze Age barrow right there. You can see, if I zoom right out, look, it's, it's much clearer. So you think, well, if this um, rock, this stone, is a map, what about all the other rocks and stones around the world? Surely if this is a map, what about all the other ones? And I found a really nice looking one in Scotland. So look at this one I found in Scotland. These eccentric circles are henges. These are henges, like Stonehenge. Here's another one, look. Look, it's three in a line here. So this, if that one in France is a map, what about this one? Could these lines here represent rivers? Could these be rivers? Could this be 
look at the, the um, what gets me is look at the amount of it in the landscape that we just can't see anymore look and what I'll do see these three together look right close and look these these two are like almost intersecting and these are intersecting each other so they were probably made at different times um, so these I reckon are that is a line of three here and there's another one there with a line in between perhaps it's some sort of a prehistoric walkway between the two maybe the grounds a bit flooded could be and then these, this line coming off could be a trackway leading to it maybe more rivers these small ones are probably barrows clusters of barrows see how they're sort of together in a line because often these kinds of uh, things in the landscape were on ridges on like hilltops so the reason they might be in a line like that might be because they're on a ridge or a hilltop so let's go and have a look at a satellite picture well not a satellite picture a picture <laughs> of um, some crop marks in England and, and so you, you think that oh, it, can't, it can't be they're too close together but I'll show you in a minute another picture where they are very close together and here it is here this is in England look look at these uh, barrows look how close they are there's two inside this bigger enclosure you know touching each other that these two are intersecting like I showed you and then there's they often have like these walkways approaching them like the other one there's like walkways and walk trackways approaching the uh, barrows this is probably a henge because it's got stuff in the center so yeah all of these old carvings no matter where they are um, there's a lot of old carvings in America on rocks perhaps this is a map telling people you know that this is here now how in the hell they managed to do it you know they didn't f have planes didn't have balloons how did they do the map <laughs> so this is this is the question if that one it's been re re they discovered it a few years ago and they thought it was a map but they've just released the information about it and what I'll do is I will put in the link below in the description below they did they've done a paper like a, you know a, a scientific archaeological type paper on exactly what they found in France so you can read through it for yourself and then it will just be a matter because the actual stone was found in the location of where they were the the map so oh the possibilities are endless so possibly somewhere in the landscape near here there could be a map of exactly this imagine it finding that and then knowing that that was there wow so this is you know a bit of a breakthrough breakthrough for treasure maps because they did actually say it's a treasure map <laughs> a treasure map for archaeologists well it could be a treasure map for detectorists as well so it's just a matter of knowing you know there's there's lots of websites available where you can find out about where there are barrows that have been found the one in Scotland might be a bit tricky because you know the landscape is covered with um, thick, thick vegetation in places so that might be a bit tricky this is a lovely ploughed field so I'll leave it up to you put it in the comments below if you have any rock they call it rock art but we should be calling them rock maps even where they've drawn animals this is an indication that they people have said that it could be an indication that these animals are in this location so it's like an advert for the types of animals that you could hunt back 5,000 years ago <laughs> so yeah this is an absolutely huge breakthrough in technology right Put it in the comments below if you've got anything like rock art like that near you.